98. And this is the a new installment of Triple Chips Backyard Barbecue. Presented through the Triple Chip Adventure Vlogs. That's the channel name, Triple Chips Adventure Vlogs. This since it's summertime, this is the backyard barbecue series. We're gonna have in this one. Uh, this is the model I wanted, and there are some uh, ones that are even higher up, like uh, the guy from Duck Dynasty has, has a little control panel, has different probes. don't have that on mine, because mine's got a whole bunch of other features that other one doesn't have, but what I got from Walmart for $19.98 is this deluxe thermometer. It's got a nice probe thing here with some high temperature wire. And what you need to go along with that is, it says somewhere here, you need a... Uh, requires two AAA batteries. And I just happen to have two sitting right here. So let's give this a try out. So we just open the old knife, always away from you, safety first, classic ninja style. I'm just gonna make a little incision here. Just like that. It's okay. What this is going to be handy for is when you're doing like it's got all different ones on here like you got your beef lamb pork fish turkey chicken and it looks like it's made out of a decent material too so what you want to do is just slide this cover open simply it's not rock sign, just the way they show it just put your batteries in like that okay what we want to do is peel the sticker off and then that's what you're actually looking at. And just put the cover back on the back. And it looks like that's where your thing's going to plug into right there, I'm assuming. And there's your power button. If you're not using it, just hit the top and it's off. You can change your thing from Celsius to Fahrenheit. That's usually in, up here in Canada, it's Celsius. In the United States is Fahrenheit. So what we're simply gonna do is always keep the instructions, that's good. So inside of here you got your little temperature probe. Be careful when taking it out. It's, it is like a metal rod. You don't want to damage just wires with this. So get this out of here. Simple little twist tie just comes off of here. But this will stand whatever your barbecue can throw out of this isn't this string this is made for high temperatures just so you know the internal temperature of your meat so you get a perfect cook every time then so what you're just gonna do is simply just plug that into this little slot here so you hear that snap in place it's locked in there and somewhere in your barbecue, I guess even if you don't have a hole, you can just see if you had a roast here, you would just just slide that right into it. And you would just go through your mode on here. Well, that's all that's doing is just switching from current temperature outside. Okay, your meat. So say if we were just doing a roast, we just set it to beef. We'd set it to whatever temperature we, want, we wanted at. So if you want to set it, we got to cook that. I don't know what it's supposed to be at, but say you want to cook it at 200, just take it up to 200. Go back to your timer. And set your timer for whatever you want it. So you say you want it to do it for two hours. And when it hits that internal temperature, your timer should go off to tell you that that meat is at that temperature on the inside. And just have it sitting like that. See if your roast was in there, that would just be sitting in there. Close it down, because that doesn't even pinch it. You got room in there to move it. But some barbecues, there might be holes through the side that you can actually feed this wire through. If not, like there, like it's not pinching at all. Now it would just be stuck in your, whatever you're cooking in there. So that's just a very cheap way that you can actually 
modernize your barbecue. So, if you like what you've seen this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Until next time, chip out, vlog is over.